Today we're going to take you through some of the questions we commonly get asked about our range of bike pumps, which includes the mini bike pump, the bike pump with gauge, and the mini floor bike pump. The first question that we tend to get asked is where is the hose of the pump located? The hose of our pumps is located within the body of the pump itself. To access it, you remove the dust cover from the handle end of the pump and unscrew the hose which is stored within. You then remove the dust cover from the other end of the pump and screw the relevant end of the hose into the pump, like so. We commonly get asked if our pumps work with Presto valves with removable cores. All of our pumps work with valves with removable cores. However, it's important to make sure before you try and use the pump that the core is very well secured into the valve. And just tighten it up either by hand or some people like to use super glue as well. One question we're asked with relation to our pump with gauge is why is the gauge not rising as we pump? You need to ensure that the valve of your inner tube is fully open by unscrewing it and that you've bled a little air from the valve. You then get the correct end of your hose and screw it on, pushing it deeply onto the valve like so. If you don't do this, air can get trapped in the hose of the pump and therefore air will not inflate your tyres correctly. One question we get asked is, why am I having problems pumping to a high pressure? As with the previous question, this is a case of making sure that the valve of your tube is fully open and that you bled a little air from it. You also need to make sure that the hose of your pump is fully threaded onto the valve of your tube and you need to ensure that you have a nice deep connection. If you fail to do this, air may get blocked in the hose of your pump. The next question is regarding Dunlop tyre valves and how to use our pumps in conjunction with them. In this case, you need to purchase a special adapter which you just screw onto the Dunlop valve head, like so. You then use the Schrader end of one of our pumps and connect it, like so. And this will now work. We're commonly asked how to install the frame mount that comes with the pump. To install the bracket, you use the bolts supplied with the frame of your bike. Firstly, unscrew them from your frame. Make sure that both the bolt and the rivet itself is clear of any debris. Next, you line up the bracket so that it's flush with the rivets of your frame, like so. Also, if you're using the bracket with a bottle cage, line this up on top, like so. Once you're sure that you've got the bracket and the bottle cage lined up, insert the bolt and start hand tightening it, like so. Get the first bolt so that it's finger tight, and then do the same with the second bolt, like so. Again, you can start off by just finger tightening. Once you've got both bolts finger tight, finish off the job with a hex tool. Make sure that the bolts are nice and tight. However, do not over tighten them as it may make them difficult to remove at a later stage. Once you're happy that both bolts are nice and tight, you're ready to go and to strap your pump into the bracket. One question we're asked is why is the pump rattling in the mount as we ride? If your pump is rattling as you ride, it's likely that you haven't got it clipped into the bracket correctly. The correct way to have your pump in the bracket is to have the handle clipped into the plastic part here. We hope you enjoyed this video, if so give it a like. Make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel to get more tips and hints from Pro Bike Tool.